Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on TestNG. In today's session, we are going to cover factory annotation. Please subscribe, like, share, comment the videos on this channel. If you have any training inquiries, please contact me at techtrainerraj at gmail.com. Okay, let us begin by looking at factory annotation. By using TestNG, there are three ways of running multiple test cases. One is using testng.xml file, which we have already covered in the earlier sessions. Uh, the second one is using runner class, which we are going to cover in the next session. And in today's session, we are going to cover the factory annotation. The factory annotation in testng helps you to run multiple test cases. What does factory annotation do? Factory annotation marks that method as a factory that returns objects and that will be used by testng as test classes. The method must return an object array. Whichever the method which is annotated with at factory annotation that returns an object of test classes. Since it is an array of test classes, test ng will read all these classes and will run those classes. Okay, let us see an example. Let us flip over to Eclipse. For this, I am going to make use of uh, the test ng demo project which we have created earlier. And under source main Java, I am going to create another package. So right click on source main Java, click on new and select the package. So this I'm going to call it as edu.launch.techtrainer dot factory. on finish inside this I'm going to create a new class I'm going to call it as factory test 1 or factory 1 test okay click on finish Inside this, I'm going to have test annotation with the method public void So I'm going to print something here. Factory one test method. I'm going to import this. Now we have created a one class uh, which has got one method which has got a test annotation. The same way, I'm going to copy this and paste it into the same package. But this I'm going to call it as factory two test. Okay, and I'm going to change this to factory two method. Okay, so now I have two classes one is factory one test and factory two test each of them having one test case each I'm going to create another class here um, new class I'm going to call this as factory runner Click on finish. 
and here I'm going to use factory annotation. So here public object array because from the slides what we have seen is the method must return an object array okay whichever the method uh, with factory annotation must return an object array so run test okay i'm going to import this first okay so now new object array so here I'm going to create new factory one test okay, I should add return here okay so this uh, method is returning an array of object which is containing the classes which it needs to run currently it is going to run only the tests which are available under factory one test if I right click on factory runner Java I don't get that test ng test here so for that I'm just going to add add a test here without having any method associated with it okay so there is no method associated with the, the test annotation and I'm going to run this as test ng test now. So what I'm expecting when I run this test ng test is it should go to factory one test and run all the tests there. Okay, as you can see from here, it went to factory one um, test and it printed factory one test method in here. So if I want to add another class to this array which is going to go and run those tests put a comma here and new factory to test whenever I run this as a test ng test if it finds a factory annotation it goes and runs the classes which are in this object array all those enabled test cases will be run so far i have one test case in factory one test and another test case in factory two test class okay so let me run this now run as test ng test this time it ran two tests uh, first it ran the factory one test and then the factory two test so let me disable this Okay, and rerun this. Okay, since I have disabled the test under factory one test, it went and ran only factory two test. Okay, let me enable this back. Okay, so this is how we can run multiple uh, tests using factory annotation. So let me add one more uh, test in here. So I'm going to call this as factory one method two method two. Okay. So again, if I run this, it will run all those tests. So three tests are run. So all factory uh, annotation is doing is so whatever the test cases which are available in those classes, uh, if they are enabled, then 
they are run. So if there are any input parameters which you need to provide uh, to these uh, classes, then you can create a constructor and then pass in those values from the, the new object which is being created under factory annotation method. Okay, like any other Java class. Okay, so this is how we can make use of factory annotation to run multiple classes and multiple test cases. That is the end of today's session. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the latest updates.